Saturday, aka my day off. Brian works until 4 p.m. I work on Sundays though, until 6 p.m. So for the morning, I don't have anything planned for now. I'll probably do some chores like uh, living with your partner. In the late afternoon, we will go to a piano concert in Ginza and you'll come with us and I'll show you Ginza. Ginza is like the fancy, classy, nice area in Tokyo. Let's have lunch first. I'm so hungry. Oh, by the way, I am eating cognac again but this time there is a strange sauce in it so it's a little different it's really really strange I was thinking this is the first time I live with someone I don't know if it's an Italian thing maybe it is we always picture like oh my god you're mo moving in together it's gonna be a huge thing like a huge change you're gonna fight and everything my piece of advice is that you don't build it up in your mind if you get along it will come natural don't overthink because I was overthinking of course it will take you a while to get completely comfortable I mean it depends it's personal but for me you know you wake up in the morning like completely no makeup you haven't brushed your teeth it's like oh my god that's me the real me I was a little bit concerned but it's fine I mean we have a super small apartment and now I feel pretty comfortable Chores time. Let's go and do the laundry. Brian and I are pretty good at this. I would say we're like 50-50. So every week someone does the laundry and someone cleans the apartment. This week it's time for the laundry for me. Since we live in a share house, we have our own private bathroom, our own little kitchen. But the washing machine is in common. And also we have like a bigger living room and a bigger kitchen in common with the other housemates. Also, if you ask Brian what to expect when you move in with someone, we will ask him later. But I am pretty sure that he will tell you a lot, a lot of hair everywhere. I'm sorry Brian, okay? But yeah, boys, a lot of hair, especially if your woman has long hair. Lander is done, folded everything. And I was thinking, if you live with someone and you have a fight, it's either like, let's cut it short and let's make up because, I mean, we live together, so let's speed up the makeup process, right? Or you just want to be by yourself and you feel like you're stuck because you live with that person if the argument happens to be at night it's not like it's not that easy to just go out and go to a hotel like i don't do that so it can last longer actually you feel like you need time to heal and you need time to just <sighs> let it go but you don't have that time i don't need a lot of alone time and i have plenty of alone time i have plenty of work time but also like my saturdays for example but maybe if you're like brian do you like to have alone time you have to talk about it with your partner and find your space but also probably you won't be living in a very small apartment Cubby's here, do you remember him? See you later! I'm running late because I was relaxing at home like for 30 minutes and I'm always tired as you can tell We're going to Ginza and I'll see Brian there Let's go! My baby, a kiss! <laughs> to me! Kissy. Okay, so now that I'm here, I'll take over the vlog. We don't need Sonia anymore. Come with me. Welcome to Ginza. Very populated area, as you can see. A lot of people, a lot of shops. Um, I think they say it's one of the most expensive places for shops. You see a lot of designer stores. I recommend it if you ever want to come to Japan. So take a look and enjoy. We're going to my students. <laughs> He's always doing this in my vlogs. We're going to my students' concert. We're not really elegant. She said there is no dress code, so I believed her. Let's see if I regret believing her. I already regret my shirt. Her. I should have worn something nicer. <laughs> Brian, I told them that I would ask you what is something that bothers you 
ever since like we moved in together. Um, Something you don't like about living with me. Probably sharing a bed. <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. I mean, our bed's hella small. If we had a bigger bed, it'd be okay. All right, well guys, I was wrong. Sure. I said that probably the thing you hate the most about living with me is my hair everywhere. Oh my God, that's actually, yes. That takes the win. That's true. Sharing the bed. The concert is over. My student was really good. And now, baby, what do you want to do? Lego. Lego where? Anywhere. Probably eat something. I'll show you guys at night. We made up our mind. We are going to uh, Gasto, like a chain restaurant. It's cheap, like Otoya. Otoya is healthier. Gasto is not that healthy. It Who has cares about healthiness? People in my life who just said, Brian, did you gain weight? Yes, I did. Brian, while you are waiting for your food, <laughs> you can smile. Thank you. Do you want to give some advice to the people who are planning to live together? No, but I will. If you're planning on living together, you better raise the patience level a little bit higher. <laughs> you know, you're a little bit more elastic. You'll accept a little bit more. You'll have to give a little bit more. You're gonna have to sacrifice a couple things. What are you sacrificing? Uh, my precious freedom of space and alone time. You have your alone time. I have less. Thank you, Brian. Here I have my noodles and salad and seaweed and shrimp. Little salad, little corn soup. Little Brian pea. has, mmm, that piece is so good. I'll probably steal Moving a little again. piece from him. Or two. And then he has his meat. Itadakimasu. It was pretty good. It was very good. I mean, not like fine dining, more like unhealthy good stuff. There is a party at our share house. So I'll probably join for like one hour. I'll drink my tea because I don't drink. So they'll be like drunk and happy and they'll go on all night. I don't even drink. Do you want to say anything? I'm full. He's full. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the vlog. If you did, subscribe. I'll see ya. Electone? Electone. Electone. Without an R. Really? Without the R.